What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. This video, let's talk about the price of Bitcoin. Let's talk about Bitcoin. I haven't made a Bitcoin video in ages, and that's why I'm super excited to have this stock market channel because I can talk about things I really like to things I really like to do. I really like to talk about the stock market. I like to talk about cryptocurrencies. I like to talk about things to make money, and this is what this channel is for. So this Bitcoin price. Look at this Bitcoin price. So earlier today. Um, Bitcoin was at a total of what $50,000, 50 plus thousand. Let's just say 50 plus thousand to make the numbers simple. I am using the Robinhood interface here. I understand a lot of people don't like the Robinhood app, but I'm, I'm still using the Robinhood app. I would prefer not to purchase crypto on Robinhood, you know, but you know, there's people that still buy crypto on Robinhood. I would prefer not to. And guys, this is not financial advice. This is just a guy on YouTube talking about cryptocurrencies in the stock market so make sure you do your own research and your own due diligence but let's talk about this bitcoin price for a minute honestly i don't recommend you to buy cryptocurrency on robin hood just because you can't take it off of robin hood um however if you guys do want to sign up for robin hood or if you want to sign up for webull or if you want to sign up for coinbase i will have links in the description below if you sign up for each app you get something free with each one with robin hood i believe you get two free stocks with webull you get two free stocks and with uh coinbase this is coinbase over here coinbase they give you ten dollars in free stock um, not free stock, but they give you like $10 and you can cash it out for $10 or you can use it to buy BTC, Ethereum, XRP. The list goes on and on and on. So over here, we're just going to go look at the Bitcoin price. This is the Coinbase interface. I only have, what, $200 plus dollars in my Bitcoin wallet here. Now, one thing I do like about the Coinbase app when it comes to Bitcoin, you can actually take your Bitcoin off of the Coinbase app. So I can literally send my Bitcoin to someone else so they can get it off of this app. That's what you can't do with Robinhood. With Robinhood, it's like Robinhood owns the private keys. Like they own the Bitcoin and you just, it's almost like investing in the ETF, you know? So you, you don't actually really own it. It looks like we well, we just got bumped up to 49000 There could be a price difference with Coinbase and also Robinhood. I don't think it would be a very, very big difference, but... um. Let's just talk about this Bitcoin price here, guys. I'm on the fence right now. I'm on the fence and I'm thinking, should I just go ahead and buy a whole Bitcoin or should I wait for the price to drop? Don't know if the price is going to drop. If it dropped to like 35000 that would be a really good buying opportunity. But I'm not the only one thinking about that buying opportunity. There's a lot of people out there that are thinking about that buying opportunity. There's a lot of people that are sitting in this same scenario. There's a lot of people holding their phone right now and they're looking at this $49,000 price. And they're thinking, yo, if it drops to $40,000, i am going to buy a Bitcoin. You know, if it drops to this price, I'm going to buy some Bitcoin. So this is a scary one, guys. The other night I did a live stream and I um, someone asked me a very simple question. They asked me, yo, Jermaine, how high do you think the price of Bitcoin will go? And <laughs> I don't really want to sound like like a, a, a just a way out there like Bitcoin bull, because for the most part, like I like Bitcoin, but I'm not like, you know, Mr. Bitcoin. Like, let's do Bitcoin, Bitcoin, this Bitcoin, that. I'm not a big fan like that, but one thing I do want to break down about Bitcoin that I don't think a lot of people realize here, Bitcoin is not like the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar, they just print more of them, okay? Whenever they need more dollars, they print more of them. Bitcoin does not function this way. Bitcoin is very unique because there's only going to be 21 million Bitcoin, and there's already been so many Bitcoin lost, from, you know, people losing them with hard drives, from people, you know, forgetting the password, the list goes on and on. You also have people like like someone like let's say someone has like 50 Bitcoin or a thousand Bitcoin or whatever Bitcoin. And if that person dies, if no one or no one who knew them can get access to their like data and, you know, know their password and get a hold of the Bitcoin, well, that Bitcoin's just vanished, you know. Bitcoin is, is very different. It's very similar to gold, but it's very, very different from gold. For example, if I have a whole bunch of gold, if I die, someone's going to find that gold. You know, if I have like gold in this hotel room and if, and if I die, millions of dollars of gold, someone would find that gold, right? 
But if I had millions of dollars in Bitcoin on a sheet of paper, <laughs> it can easily be thrown away. And that could be worth a lot of money. Just the the digits on on that sheet of paper could be worth a, a ton of money. So it's really insane when you when you really think about it, just how how big this is, like 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 how big Bitcoin can be. So what am I doing? Am I buying Bitcoin or am I not buying Bitcoin? Well, right now I'm in the situation where I am buying Bitcoin just because I don't want to miss the wave. I don't want to miss the wave. I'm not going crazy. I'm not, you know, liquidating 50% of my equities to Bitcoin. No, I'm not going crazy like that. I'm already past 1% of my portfolio in Bitcoin. And I, I'm thinking about taking that up to 5%. You know, a lot of investors say you're safe with 1%. And if Bitcoin goes up and if you have 1% of your portfolio on Bitcoin and if it continues to go up and go up and go up and go up and go up, you'll make money. But I'm thinking about maybe 5% of my portfolio. As of now in, you know, in, in this Coinbase account, I have a little bit of Ethereum, just a little bit of Ethereum. Like I say, I don't like to keep my Bitcoin or my cryptos on the exchange with Coinbase, well, like I said, you can easily take it off the exchange. This is just all the Ethereum I have on the exchange now. It's kind of perfect for the making of this video because at least I can show you guys I have something in my account. When I get done making this video, I'm going to transfer this out of my account and put it in a, a little bit more safer place. I'll probably make more videos in the future talking about um, different places that you can store your crypto because Robinhood is like the easiest place to buy crypto. Just like Cash App is like the easiest app to use. And Cash App, you can you can buy um, Bitcoin on Cash App too. If I'm not mistaken, I believe on Cash App you can you can send Bitcoin from Cash App. Yes, you can send Bitcoin from Cash App. Yes, you can totally send Bitcoin. So with Cash App, you can send Bitcoin out of Cash App, which is really really cool. Unlike other apps where you, apps like Robinhood, where you don't have the option to send your Bitcoin. Now you can share your Bitcoin, but you can't, you can't like send your Bitcoin. Like I can't send my Bitcoin to someone else or I can't use my Bitcoin to purchase something at a store. This is just one of the downsides with Robinhood. And once again, if you can't use your Bitcoin on the Robinhood app, that means that you also can't. You can't like withdraw it. You basically have to sell it back to USD. I can't just keep the Bitcoin. I have to literally sell it back to US dollars, which is, you know, not the best way to go. But if you want to take advantage of the, you know, the, the upside potential, you can totally buy Bitcoin on the Robinhood app and hold it for a couple of days and turn around and sell it. But if you actually want Bitcoin for its purpose to, you know, for it to be a de de decentralized currency and you know, to use it as a store of wealth, you might want to take it off the brokers. You might want to take it off the brokers. But anyway, guys, I think Bitcoin has a long way to go. I don't think it's done. I think it's pretty much, this may sound crazy, but I think it's pretty much just got started, especially when you look at some of these big companies that want to get into Bitcoin and want to invest in Bitcoin for their future. There's a lot of companies with like millions and billions of dollars on their balance sheet. And every day, that these big companies have all this money sitting on their balance sheet and the government keeps printing money it it that it makes all that money on their balance sheet lose value and over the course of you know five years what has bitcoin only did it's only went up in value so i think it's just a matter of time before you have a lot of these big companies buying bitcoin and we're going to see the price go to eighty thousand, and then we're going to see it go up to a hundred thousand and then we'll go you know 200 300 then we'll, it'll be at a million you know and guys, I'm just gonna just just put it out here like this. Don't be surprised. Don't be surprised one day if Bitcoin is a whole lot higher than what it is today. Just don't be surprised. Because right now, this thing is catching on like a wildfire. And it it's literally catching on like a wildfire. And more and more companies are integrating Bitcoin into their services and letting people pay with Bitcoin and we're just going to see where this go. We're just going to see where this goes. We're going to see where this goes. Like Tesla, you know, invested a lot in Bitcoin and that 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 literally was the domino effect. That just started the row of dominoes. And I think there's there's going to be more and more companies jumping on the big Bitcoin bandwagon. 
and we'll just have to see where things go with Bitcoin. But yeah, Bitcoin is definitely a part of my portfolio. It looks like I'll be buying more and more Bitcoin and yeah. And wow, I'm just sitting here watching this price go up ever since I started this video. This is just, this is crazy. This is amazing. It looks like we might see $50,000 in, in, in just an hour or so or two hours or so. The price is just going up again. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this video up. Thanks a lot for watching. Wanted to make a video talking about Bitcoin really fast. Since um, you know, I got a DM on Instagram, someone said, what are your thoughts about Bitcoin? Are you buying Bitcoin? Do you think Bitcoin's going to crash? Do you think Bitcoin's going to go to, you know, whatever price? And uh, yeah, I just wanted to put my opinion out there, show you guys what I think about Bitcoin in any way. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching. Peace out, yo. Make sure y'all get two free stocks or three or a whole group of stocks down in the description below. But thanks a lot for watching. See you later.